was a lot of energy in that intro. Hope you guys enjoy that one, I just like the intro song and then uh, my brain kind of went YOLO for a second and I came up with the intro. <laughs> so yeah, brains be crazy. Now on to the video. Now today I'm hopefully going to help you guys out with mastering the absolute best 420 blazon launcher in the game. And if you haven't guessed it from the thumbnail, title or intro, it's the SRAW or the SRAW, <laughs> whatever you cool kids like to call it these days. Now let me start off by shoving some stats in your faces. And these are some pretty interesting stats. So, the SRAW does 21 damage to the LAVs when you hit him in the front, 35 if you hit him from the side, and 21 if you're hitting them from the side with an angle. It does 35 damage if you hit him in the back. On tanks, it does 22 damage uh, to the front, 52 damage if you shoot him in the butt, and 32 from the side, and then again 21 if you hit him from the side with a slight angle. So that's pretty interesting. The tags are actually more vulnerable than the LAVs. That's, that's kind of interesting. But now it gets really interesting. Because listen up. It one kills little birds and attack choppers. You know, the attack choppers, the Apaches, those big ass flying thunderbirds. Yeah, it one kills those. However, it only does 70 damage to transport choppers. So, yeah, I don't really get what DICE is, is trying to do here, but I guess we just have to roll with it. <laughs> we don't have much of a choice. So now that you know all the stats on this bad boy, let me give you some tips on how to actually use it. So you have three fire modes. You can track targets by just scoping in on your target and the missile will hit wherever you're pointing at. The second fire mode is of course a dump fire, so if you're firing from the hip, the missile will just travel in a straight line. And I have to say, it is one of the most accurate launchers to hip fire uh, compared to some of the other ones. Even if you're you're moving while firing, your missile will still fly in a straight line, which is not the case in some of the other launchers, I have to say. And then of course the third mode is a uh, lock on fire, so whenever someone is laser designating a target, you can just lock onto it, fire your missile and it will automatically hit. How wonderful is that? <laughs> and it would also deal more damage when you lock on. So that's a pretty interesting slash helpful thing to know. In my opinion, the SRAW is the absolute best launcher to have in Battlefield 4, especially for ground targets, and of course for taking down the occasional chopper as well, which is surprisingly easy, actually. Uh, but why do I actually think this is the best launcher? Uh, because, you know, you can, you can engage enemy armor from any distance you want, and your missile will hit your target as long as you just keep scoping in on it, which is a lot harder to do with something like the RPG, for example, because of that massive drop it has once you fire it. The second reason is reload time. Uh, other launchers, with the exception of uh, the very first one you unlock, which is just so shitty, by the way, it's <laughs> just so shitty, they all have a very long reload time, which is not something you want after you've just given your position away when you fired off that first missile at the enemy tank or LAV or whatever you're engaging. <laughs> you know, you want to be taking them out as fast as possible, and the SRAW has a very short reload time for being a launcher, and that is something that you want. That is a, that is a major advantage that you have. And, of course, it's extremely good at taking out choppers like you, uh, well, like you saw in the intro. Uh, I mean, it's just aim, uh, shoot, and keep aiming at your target until your missile hits, and voila, you got yourself a clip to upload. Now, if you're engaging armor, always try to either hit them from the side in a 90 degree angle, or of course just hit them in the pooper, you know, in the back, in the butt, because that will deal the most damage, and it will possibly immobilize them as well. Uh, just after you fired off that first shot, just get behind cover as quickly as possible, fire off that second shot, and chances are the driver will just bail after, uh, after the second shot, and that, dear friends, means that you have just given him a serious case of the battle panics. <laughs> and an even more effective technique is to alternate positions from when you fire. Uh, for example, if you're behind a container and you shoot your first rocket from the right side, just get back to cover, reload that rocket, and fire your second rocket from the other side, so from the left side. You know, you really want to make your moves unpredictable when it comes to taking down armor with launchers. And of course, if your target is less than, let's say, uh, 20 me yeah, 20 meters away from you, don't even bother scoping in, guys. Just hip fire. A tank is a big target. That missile will hit. Well, that's really all I can say about the S Raw. It's a fantastic weapon to take all kinds of ground and air vehicles down. And once you learn how to actually use this bad boy, you will just fall in love with it. 
Well, alright guys, that's, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, if you did, do not forget to let me impregnate your beautiful wives slash girlfriends. Yes, I do not, I do not discriminate, I do both. <laughs> and if you're not in possession of either one, of course, you can always like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I am Dolce, and I'll see you in the next video.